In this block, we're going to talk about turbine engine principles, theory of its operation, before we get into the specifics of how it's used inside of the UH-60. <sighs> Air. A lot of gaseous molecules floating all around us. It's great for breathing, and it turns out it's great for getting lights turned on. That's because air, along with abundant natural gas or other fuels, are the ingredients that combine in a gas turbine to spin the generator that produces electric current. If you follow the electricity you use at home or at work back through the power lines to your local power plant, you'll see that the process most likely starts with the work of the gas turbine, the very heart of the power plant. First, air is drawn in through one end of the turbine. In the compressor section of the turbine, all those air molecules are squeezed together, similar to a bicycle pump squeezing air into a tire. As the air is squeezed, it gets hotter and the pressure increases. Next, fuel is injected into the combustor where it mixes with the hot compressed air and is burned. This is chemical energy at work. Essentially, this is what happens in your family car's engine, but at about 2,900 times more horsepower. Actually, it's exactly like the turbine engines on jet airplanes. The hot gas created from the ignited mixture moves through the turbine blades, forcing them to spin at more than 3,000 RPMs. Chemical energy has now been converted into mechanical energy. The turbine then captures energy from the expanding gas, which causes the drive shaft, which is connected to the generator, to rotate. Normally, jet engines are thought of, of producing thrust, like you would see on uh, airplanes or jet fighters, but you can still use the engine to produce mechanical power. Uh, you'll hear this by turboshaft or turboprop engines. These basically are turbine engines that take that power from the thrust and turn it into mechanical power. In a gas turbine engine, the pressurized gases spin the turbine. In most modern gas turbine engines, the engine produces its own type of pressurized gases. It does this by burning fuel. Um, in our case, it's going to be the jet fuel. The heat that comes from that burning fuel expands the air, and that results in the high-speed rush of air spinning the turbines, which power to the output shaft. So in mechanical power producing engines, the power is transferred from the engine through the output drive shaft. That high-speed shaft could come out the front or the rear of the engine, but most turbo shaft engines are designed with the shaft coming out of the front. That's what you'll see in the case of the UH-60. Uh, the engine is mounted and the shaft is towards the front of it. The jet turbine engine is a fairly sophisticated piece of equipment and it looks pretty daunting at first when you look at it. Theoretically, gas turbine engines are very simple. They have three main parts, the compressor, the combustion area, and the turbines. All gas turbine engines work on the same principle. Air is brought into the engine by the turning compressor blades, which are shaped like little airfoils. As the air travels through the compressor, the area that it's in becomes smaller, resulting in the air that is compressed and it's better for combustion. The air then goes through the diffuser section, which directs the air into the combustion chamber. That compressed air is then mixed with fuel and ignited, resulting in the combustion of the fuel-air mixture. The expanding gases created by the combustion results in high-energy airflow, which is converted to mechanical energy as they pass through the turbine section of the engine. So when the engine output sh is shaft power instead of thrust, there's two separate turbines. The high-energy airflow coming off the compressor causes these turbines to rotate. The first turbine is the gas generator turbine. The purpose of the gas generator turbine is to drive the compressor. The second turbine is the power turbine. This is referred to as the free power turbine. The free power turbine rotates independently of the gas generator turbine, and its purpose is to drive the output shaft to provide mechanical power. An easy way to remember how a gas turbine engine works is suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. The air is sucked into the engine squeezed in the compressor section, then mixed with fuel and ignited, causing the bang in the combustion section, and blown through the turbines and out the exhaust. <laughs>